Time now for the KSL In-Depth. We're in the middle of Salt Lake's first ever Welcome Week, a celebration of immigrants and refugees who have settled right here in Utah. As city and county leaders encourage the public to reach out to someone who was not born here in the U.S., our KSL News Radio's Brianna Bodily sat down with a few of our new Americans to hear their stories. Running a five-star restaurant in downtown Salt Lake, Italian-born Walter Nassi says the city has treated him well. The 18, 19 years we, I am here, and I can tell you definitely that I love it. His start in America came in a New York hotel, but it wasn't until he came out to Utah that he got into restaurants. That's when he says he found his home. Every day you are immersed in love. Why? Because of the sun, because of the beauty, because of the cleanliness, because of the people. He isn't the only one to find success here. Stats from the mayor's office show foreign-born families represent about $236 million in state and local taxes, and they start up more businesses than native-born citizens. Filipino-born Eunice Jones Lane says her parents knew she'd have more opportunity here when they pushed her to accept a job in America more than 30 years ago. This chance of a lifetime, I have to grab it. Lane says she came from a very poor family and very humble circumstances. I was born in a little village without electricity, without running water. So when she left the country... She didn't have much to bring. I have just a suitcase and $50 in my pocket. Lane started off in L.A. working her way up to a hotel sales job in Vegas, where she was booking a 1,000 rooms a night. Then she got married and found herself in Utah, where the culture shock hit hard. From a big city, all of a sudden I'm in a smaller market. Lane is now a high-end realtor with spots on Utah's Hall of Fame stretching back the last 20 years. She spent the time helping to build several Asian Utah organizations and scholarship funds. This is how how we are giving back. Both Jones and Nassie say they're trying to help bring more diversity to Utah, but when it really comes down to it, Nassie says we aren't so different. In fact, at some point in time, we were all immigrants. And yeah, you are. We and we are. We are. Mm. Eh? Brianna Bodily, KSL News Radio. Good to hear some of those stories, don't you think? Welcoming Salt Lake, by the way, kicked off on Monday and it runs until Sunday. You can find a link to the program on our website, KSL News Radio.